from Miss Graham, Castillejos Zambales. Rockets, bombs, missiles, the noises of war, and the cry of the mass. In a day that seems normal for some, it's a day lived in fear for others. Constant oppression and an ending vengeance become a series of how it is to be a human for a few in exchange for the lives taken away from civilians. This is an emotionally exhausting reality of today, a history unfolding riot our very eyes. Our country may not be suffering from this atrocity, but we are all connected as humans. Through our echoed voices, I call the attention of your existence to never resort in violence nor put blood in your hands. Refuse to be an instrument of war. Rather, be a bastion of peace and justice. We all live in the same space. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Grant Castillejos Zambales. And now let's hear from Miss Grant Cavite. Violence and war have been immense, a lot of pain in our human history. It breaks heart, soul, mind, and nation and it also leaves an unending scar to our future generation. I believe that the real strength cannot be found in violence, but it can be found in the reality that we can fix every critical thing peacefully. And with that kind of platform, if we could be united to promote this kind of platform, we could build a world wherein we could live in harmony. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Grant Cavite. Now let's hear from Miss Grant, Himamailan City, Negros Occidental. Katutuhanan, kalayaan, katarungan, ay kayang makamit na walang dahan. Basta't magkaisa tayong lahat. Sino nga ba ang hindi nakakaalam sa pinakaunang mapayapa at walang bahin na dahas na pamamaraan ng pagkamit ng kalayaan ng kapwa natin Pilipino noong 1986 People Power Revolution? This is a testament that you, a collective and collaborative effort, we can achieve a common goal in a manner that no one could have ever imagined. However, everywhere, Violence and conflict continue to be the alarm clock of our fellow Filipino. How can we achieve peace as a nation when the very foundation of it, such as respect, understanding, and love is luxury? As a product of a broken family, I know that peace, even within the family, is so hard to achieve. But one thing the people power has taught me is that ating kalayaan kay tagal na nating miti. Thank you, Miss Grant, Himamailan City, Negros Occidental. Now let's hear from Miss Grant Laguna. Imagine life in the world where laughter replaces gunfire, where children can run and play with no fear. War takes lives and also dreams and replace it with long-lasting scars. But we people can change it by choosing compassion over conflict, choosing kindness over hatred. We can make peace and together we can end war. But the change should start now Kapayapaan para sa ating lahat. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, Miss Grant Laguna. 
Now let's hear from Miss Grand Mandela. Our body is our temple and health is truly one's wealth. This is a reality that not every one of us has had the privilege of. But as a third generation medical doctor in the family who also happens to be a licensed psychometrician, I have recognized that wars are not only seen in battlefields, but they are also seen in hospitals as well. And because of this, I fight for health and wage war against illnesses. So as I become a voice of this very organization, I'm ready to contribute to the advancements of our healthcare sector by providing holistic access to it, especially to my fellow Filipinos who are in need through the volunteer works I have done. That is why, let us put into action this very aspiration to be a grand source of change for our beloved nation. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Grant Manila. Now let's hear from Ms. Grant Papanga. As I stand here, I am known to some as the Palenque Queen with a radiant smile. But behind this smile are scars. Scars from bullying, bashing, and hate speech. I am being judged for simply being myself and for daring to shine on my own life. This pain has taught me that hate does not just hurt, it divides and destroys. Every hateful word fuels conflicts and makes us forget our shared humanity. Yet, I learned that hurt loses its power when we choose love, compassion, and understanding. This choice illuminates a way toward peace and prevents the roots of war and violence from growing. Together, let us all embrace love and make this world the grandest stage for all. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Grand Pampanga. And now let's hear from Miss Grand Pangasinan. Peace is what we need today. In a world where so much commotion is happening, in a world where violence is staying amongst our people, where wars from within are starting to fire up and build up ourselves, we have to do something about it. It's time for it to stop, to stop hurting ourselves, to stop hurting others. And it's time to show kindness, understanding, and compassion. In this life, we only have one world, one life, one earth, one home. Let us take care of one another. And we have a reason to be here. And the key to peace is to start winning the battle from within. And that is through love. You matter, we matter. Hashtag, I matter. Thank you, Miss Grand Pangasinan. And now, let's hear from Miss Grand Pasig City. Good evening, everyone. I stand here not just as a contestant, but as a mom of two and a woman representing women of age. Peace and unity starts in our own home. This is where the children feed more information about the entire world. So if we have this positive and engaging environment at home, then I'm sure the kids will grow up in a world with so much love, peace, and unity. And that is the world that we want to spread to everyone so that we have a bigger goal and a bigger world for them to grow on and live in. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Grand Pasig City. Now let's hear from Miss Grand Province of Quirino. I 
I am for stopping the war and violence. Each of us faces different battles in life, struggles that are often invisible and visible to those around us. Yet, the path to true peace and harmony begins within. It starts when we choose to nurture inner peace, allowing it to guide our actions. By setting aside our differences and embracing, respecting our own unique beliefs, we can create a world where connection, not division, defines us. Let us embrace the power of our shared humanity and with good intention, take meaningful steps to sustain peace both within ourselves and in the world around us. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Grand, province of Quirino. Now let's hear from Miss Grand Zambales. We often hear them say, this is a such a scary world to live in. In a society torn by war and violence, it is our human right to grow up in an environment where peace, love, and hope is existing. Ending wars does not only mean about silencing guns. I'd like to see that it's about giving tools to children to build their bright future. When we invest on schools, not bombs, we are giving them hope, hope to turn their dreams into reality and to create a world where conflict are fixed by effective communication, not by wars. I stand here in front of all of you today aiming to change the narrative. Together, we can make this world a better place just by being, helping hand in hand. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Grant Zambales. And thank you to our top 10 candidates for your insights on peace, love, and unity.